Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Shy Town Girl here and Kalua. <laughs> I'm here today with a, I'm going to say like a medium size haul from Walmart. Now, Walmart has a lot of stuff, believe it or not, for like 97 cents, 98 cents, 99 cents. I'm not sure if all of you are familiar with that. Um, they don't particularly have like a one through five dollar section like Target does, um, but they do have a lot of stuff that's under five bucks. So I'm going to show you a majority of the items that I purchased today are under five dollars. So I'm going to share those with you now. And then when I get to the things that were over the five dollar mark were just purchases I needed to make basically for myself. Um, I'll let you know when I show you those. Um, today here on the East Coast, we've got another, yes, another Nor'Eastern coming in. Um, it is supposed to hit tonight into tomorrow. Um, they're saying big, big snowfall. So any of you that are out here on the East Coast, um, I can see that the stores are already getting crazy um, because where I live, one of my windows shoots over kind of diagonal towards the shopping center and the traffic flow. So because once we know a storm is coming, um, people that have been around this area for long periods of time tend to run to the grocery stores and the bread gets wiped off the shelves. And what, you name it, it's off the shelves. It becomes a, like a feeding frenzy um, of piranhas because people freak out. When you live in the mountains or live in the valley and you've got a nor'eastern coming, you know you need to do what you got to do. So anyways, we've got all that heading our way. So to all of you that are out in this direction, please be safe. Only be out on the roads if you absolutely have to be on the roads, and we all know how that goes. Okay, so enough yip-yap from me. Let me start this um, haul here. A lot of things are Easter items because Easter is just a couple weeks away. So we're going to start, when I say we're, only because I have Miss Clue over here. Um, treat boxes. I bake all the time and when I bake I like to put the things that I've baked into containers or boxes so in the holiday seasons they do put out boxes these are made um, I was gonna say Wilton but these are actually made by Walmart they're 98 cents and what it is is exactly what you see on the front cover here it is a box and you just put it together it comes also with the string and then there's like a little Easter egg tag I'm actually gonna take it out of the box to show you because I'm worried that the glare through my wonderful window again. Okay, so you get the box, which you just put together. You open it up, put it together. It's got a see-through lid. So I always make sure my items are decorated so you can see through it. Then it comes with this Easter egg that's got a hole punch in the top here. And then it also comes with the, whoops, no, that's not for you. It comes with the string. So for... <laughs> 98 cents, you can't beat it. You really can't. And it's a decent sized box. And once again, this is just my opinion, but you bake something and you put it in something like this. How pretty is that for a dollar to put it in there? Again, it's all about presentation. And it's so funny that I pulled this tag out because I also purchased, and I usually get these every year. I purchased a couple of them because I do exactly what this is. They sell these tags for 98 cents in a package and you get 24 pieces in this package. And these are Easter eggs. I'm gonna open the package. You get yellow and pink and purple and green and blue. So let me just pull out um, a purple one, of course. You have glitter on the front side and then the back side is just plain, but it's still decorated. You take any type of hole punch, whether it's a circle, a star, a heart, punch it through, put some thread through there, put some lace through there, use that, and boom, you have a tag. How cute is that? And again, like I said, you get 24 pieces in the package of all different colors. Can't beat it. They do those types of things at Easter, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Halloween, Thanksgiving, I've never seen any for St. Patrick's Day, but I could be wrong. I'm not saying they're not out there, but I've never seen them for that. Okay, so staying on the Easter theme, these are also in the 98 cent department. There you go. And it's an eager bunny. And what it is, is you can put it on a counter, on a desk, on a table. So here he is. He's all glittery. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? Hello? Hello everybody out there. 
and there's his footsies, and then you have this other piece that slips in his footsies, whoops, and then hits my puppy on the head. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're such a good girl. And then, boom, now it allows it to stand on a table. Isn't that cute to put on a desk, on a, um, anywhere? I'm gonna put one in my room. It's super sweet, so I did get two bunnies, and then they had this Easter egg. Look at the Easter egg with all the pretty pastel colors, green, blue, pink, same concept. You put the little feet on the bottom. So what I thought I would do is I would do one, a bunny, an Easter egg with another bunny next to it. Again, 98 cents each, can't beat it. Okay, sticker time, sticker time, lots of stickers. Okay. We have some that were just $1 and we have some that were 97 cents. So even less than a dollar. Let's start off with this one is 37 pieces. And these are Easter bunnies and chicks and eggs. I'll try to bring it up nice and close for you. Aren't those precious? And then package number two, these are what you call bubble, bubble stickers. They are 25 in a package. These were 97 cents. Adorable. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> okay, next one here. These are some Easter bunnies and some carrots and flowers. These were 97 cents and you get 37. Look at that purple bunny. They're so cute. They're so cute. And then we got carrots and then the eggs. This was also 97 cents, and this is 52 pieces, and these are like all glittery. See like the rainbow, the butterfly, the duck. These are like full on glitter. So these are different. I had never seen anything like this before. I thought those were cool. These were also 97 cents, and these are more Easter bunnies, an assortment with Easter bunnies and flowers and eggs. I mean, for 97 cents, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. A couple other stickers. Now, these were a dollar each. Now, these are hologram stickers. You get 45 in a package. These have all kinds of bunnies and eggs. Let me go get some of that glare off. All about Easter right now. This one here, you get 50, and these are glitzy stickers, they're called. Again, these were a dollar. You can see if I turn them, they have like a prism effect. Look at the buses and the trucks. Super cute. Super cute. Super cute. Uh, this one was a duplicate. This one, <coughs> excuse me bunnies and chicks and rainbows I can't believe we're in the middle of March already it's flying by and now we're ready for just another snowstorm unreal oh, but it is winter what are you gonna do okay these were 97 cents as well these are the Harbro bears da -da -da. yum yum gummy bears and they're in the shapes of bunnies and so you have little bunnies themselves. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. There he is. And then you have bunny faces that look like that. So, yep, you open the package like this and it's gone. Uh, this is four ounces and the expiration date is December of 2019. So you have plenty of time. I don't know what made me buy these. I haven't had these in absolute like forever years, but I saw them and, and they were 97 cents. They had this whole row of candies. I guess you could call these theater boxes maybe. Um, this is 3.1 ounces, fat-free Swedish fish. I used to love these when I was a kid and I haven't had them for like ever. So I saw these and they were under a buck. I thought, you know what, why not? I did test them. <laughs> so I was in there squeezing them and I did pick up two. They're very soft, so I can assume that they're fairly fresh. They do have an expiration date of January 10th of 2019. So <laughs> these aren't even gonna make it past this week. <clears throat> on the candy, um, who doesn't love Tootsie Roll Pops? Come on, a one, a two, a three, a crunch. 
This is tropical flavor. So I thought, okay, I hadn't seen one of these. This was also 97 cents. You get, hmm, I could just count them, Beth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get eight pops, eight pops, eight pops. And that was 97 cents. So can't beat it. I've never seen the tropical flavors. So it looks like some yummy flavors in there. I can see like lime, um, watermelon, grape. Oh no, excuse me, that's raspberry. So yeah, I'm interested to give that a try. Two treats in one. Play-Doh. I think you all pretty much know how old I am. So for me to even go down an aisle and look at Play-Doh when I have no children left in my house right now, um, you know, but hey, these were two for a dollar. And um, yes, I am 0.3 ounces, of course, purple <laughs> and pink. <laughs> do I know what I'm going to do with these? Absolutely not, but I'll play with them. Um, I couldn't resist two for a dollar. Come on. What a cute thing to go into a child's Easter basket. Now this is for ages two and up. I don't even know if I would trust a two year old with Play-Doh. Um, um, obviously that is up to the individual parent. Um, for me, kind of been there, done that. Mm -mm. No, I, I would be a little bit older, but anyways, purple and pink. Two for a dollar. Can't beat it. Okay. Now, I did say that when I reached items that were over the dollar five mark, um, I would let you know. These were $2.98 each, so they're still within the $1 to $5 range. Uh, <laughs> look at the bunny. This is made by Peeps, and there's your price tag. And this one is pink. These are six inch, it's a six inch plush. Let me give you the tag a little bit better. There's the tag. And this one is in pink. And on his butt, it says Peeps. Super sweet. So we have the pink one. And then we have the blue one. Hello. And then I found the yellow one. Hello. So we have pink, blue, yellow. And I found the purple one. These were the only four colors I found. I was told that there was a white one, a green one, and like an orange one. Can't find them. Um, I'm on the lookout for them. So these are super sweet. I will probably end up putting them on my shelves back here somewhere. Not sure. Um, I couldn't resist. They're so sweet. <laughs> okay. This was some makeup items that I was looking to purchase and I've been wearing L'Oreal mascara my whole life since I was a youngster. This one happens to be the second version of the L'Oreal that I like. This is the L'Oreal Vol um, Voluminous Original Mascara. This is like the number two that I purchased. This is not my absolute favorite of L'Oreal mascara. The very first one that I love is L'Oreal Lash Out. I've been using it forever. Just my personal preference. I'm not trying to pitch it to anybody. But these were $4.99. So you couldn't beat that. Um, they happen to be on an end cap. Uh, these are the full size, the eight milliliters. This is the black is black, the North, the 310. I did purchase two. Normally these run about nine bucks and um, to get them for $4.99 was a steal. So I did grab two of those. This one here is the Wet n Wild, the Botanical Dream. And this is a highlighting powder. Now, highlighting powders I do use. Um, I tend to wait to use them more around, you know, spring into summer and things like that. Um, this one, I'm excited to check it out because this is a new color. Um, the ounces on this one is 0 0.19. I will give a, re um, a review on it if anybody's interested. Um, I can test it out on my hand or show you exactly what I do. I have a little bit of glitter on right now, which you could probably see, which is accenting um, some of the cheekbones here. Um, actually with the way that the light is shooting through, I think I have a little too much on the sides here. It needs to be blended in a little bit more, but that's because my light has changed during the daytime, um, here. So I should have adjusted it. So if I look scarier than normal, <laughs> that's why. Okay. This item was, um, crap. This was under $10. Um, I don't know the exact amount, but I know it was under $10. This is made by Wet n Wild as well. It's called Mega Glow. Um, it is a liquid highlighter. It looks like this. 
um, there's it is number 303A holographic again I have never tried this before I was interested in checking it out so if anybody wants to know what it looks like or a review on it I will let you know this was also under $10 and this is the L'Oreal Lumini Glow Nude Highlighting Palette this one again is um, number 750 in the Sun Kissed so I'm anxious to try out. I think this one will definitely probably be too dark for me because I'm pretty fair skinned. This one will be too dark for me as well. So I'll be utilizing these two colors the most, but these can also be blended into other colors here. So it looks like this one is called Starlight. This one is called Dawn Allure. This one is called Sun Solbel, Sun Solen. And this one is called Saturn, Saturn. So I'm going to try them out. Um, if you're interested, like I said, review, comment down below. Let me know what you think. That's going to do it for my Walmart haul today. Um, Kahlua is totally crashed out. Kahlua, Kahlua. She's totally zonked out or I would have her say hello to all of you. Um, until next time, anything, comments, please down below. I hope you enjoyed this Walmart haul with me today. Everybody, please be safe. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you back later here. Shytown Town Girl saying goodnight, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.